Yeah, we love those opinions on sports from all the sporting fans out there. In fact, Chef Nakamara, are you a big sporting fan? Pretty much rugby. Yeah. Are you a rugby man? Sharks. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Do you think that you are the type of fan that would be prepared to be put in front of a camera to share opinions, to do reviews, previews, and looking at the highlights of the weekend section? Probably not. Could you do that? Could you do? Are you just one of those just like watch and enjoy? Kind of skim and know the score kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the one thing I know we can trust you with that you're not shy to experience and explore on camera is the food, and that's why when the Fry's Family uh, uh, Company was founded over 30 years ago, there was massive boundaries between the meat-eating world world and those who wanted to make a more informed and sustainable choice. And today those walls have been broken. I mean, uh, our chef here knows all about that. Of course, they no longer exist thanks to fries and their extensive range of plant-based products. And that's why this morning our recipe is inspired by the legendary American barbecue. Yep. Uh, we know it here in South Africa as the braai, uh, combining the flavors of big fries, butterbors, coleslaw, barbecue sauce, and of course pickles. Uh, pick your jaw off the floor. Come on, come on. Yes, stop salivating and get ready to dig in as Chef Jay McNamara takes the reins to show us how it's done. All right. Okay. So, so if I can get your help with some coleslaw there. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. I've and, done that um, so many times. Is there a special way that the Americans do it for their barbecues? I'm sure there is, but our special way here in South Africa, we do it our way. So we do it our way. Let's uh, smash some Be Well tangy mayonnaise in Fair. there. So we've got some uh, Be Well tangy mayonnaise going yep. into our cabbage over there. Uh huh. Uh, you were telling me that cabbage is a great, great, yeah. great in vitamin C, right? Packing. Vitamin C, vitamin K. It's mm. also full of, um, you know, antioxidants. Ah. And the B6 vitamins, um, the B vitamins is something that we, as uh, on a plant-based diet, lack a lot, especially B12. Yeah. But, you know, we've got the B6 there, so we, we're moving in the right direction That's with fantastic. some cabbage. We're getting all and of that And what's in. awesome with, um, you know, as you're creating this, yeah. you can see all those different colors. And we yes. always talk about, you know, putting different rain that rainbow on your plate. And well, you when, eat with your eyes. Correct. Right? You know, and you do. You know, when you've got those different colors, you know that you're getting the various different antioxidants into Going your Body. End. Great. Because we okay. are, after all, having a feast of a time here with a buri, right? So, exactly. You know, exactly. You've got to balance it out a little bit. So you've got some uh, uh, red onions there. You've got some uh, carrot as well as our mayonnaise going yep. in with the cabbage. That's all you need for the coleslaw. Of course, you're going to mix this all Let's up and get some salt and pepper in there uh, to bring in that salt and pepper flavor. I love coleslaw. To be honest, I cannot have like... Uh, a braai and not have coleslaw as Absolutely. Part of it. I cannot. It simply can't, it can't be done. All right, mm -hmm. so we're mixing that up nicely. Yeah. That's frying up. So we've cooked this straight from the uh, frozen aspect today. Mm -hmm. And But as I mentioned last week, you know, if you don't have that time, you don't have the time to wait the 12 minutes, you can just boil the kettle, put it straight into the hot water, okay. let it sit there for a few minutes, and then fry it up, and then you're ready to go with yeah. and almost half the time. As, how long would it take if you were not in a hurry and you wanted to do it the mainstream way? The, the package says about 12 minutes, and I've got oh. to agree, that's pretty much where we're at with Well, that's it. great. And I mean, it always just holds together so beautifully as well. You know, that, that calcium, um, uh, alginate, mm. it's, it's basically seaweed. I'm always just so like mesmerized by this product, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the innovation that always comes through in these things, the plant-based movement, yeah. is really moving to a great, great space. Over for the me, years. I, I, you have to repeat this, this, this part for me. Yeah. You say the seaweed yes. so has they, made this burevors sausage. The outside, the casing. The outside of it, yeah. wow. Okay. So, you know, in traditional burevors and, yeah. and that, it's, it's probably going to come from an animal in yes. some way. Yes. Um, you know, the intestines or something like that yeah. they would use. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we're using so we're using the, the uh, product from the ocean, you know, yeah. and they create it very cleverly. Yeah. So I'm just going to get that coleslaw in there. Yeah. Ooh, well, that's actually really smart because I think that the fact that uh, uh, the burevors itself uh, is packing protein is fantastic because yep. the big fries burevors is very high in protein 19 with grams. a whopping 19 grams yeah. of plant protein per sausage, uh, but it has none of the cholesterol found in meat. So that's a bonus. And I know that people are moving towards a more health conscious approach to what they're eating. We're all paying attention to what the nutritional value is of every meal that we're having. This is the kind of stuff you want to know. You want to know that even though this is a, uh, a meat-free but a plant-based uh, uh, alternative, you are still getting all of that, uh, that, that nutrition.
uh, coming through. But of course, if you want this recipe, you want to make sure uh, that you go onto our website. It's expressoshow.com. We've got the recipe as well as all the ingredients that you're going to need in there. This is a meal of total convenience. If you are someone that's looking to put something together really quickly, uh, but you also want to make sure that you get the health benefits as well, the nutritional value, then this is your go-to. The fries, big fry Buddha balls. So of just going to top that for some four. barbecue sauce there. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, delicious. Look at that. So... Just got to be careful Didn't on even take us 10 minutes. diet. Yeah, you know, plant-based <laughs> diet. Sometimes you just got to read the packaging. Yeah. Okay. So, burubo, I mean, the barbecue sauce, sometimes they use eggs yeah. and things like that if you want to avoid it. Yeah. Obviously, in a plant-based movement, that's what we want. Nice. But just be careful. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to decorate this beautifully, you know, like Nicole's uh, done there. Pickles, our our food pickles. stylist on mm -hmm. the show here. Mm -hmm. And you can just mix it up. It you can like throw that. in a nice salad over there as well. Absolutely. Some greens, some fries, uh, red onions, want. some, uh, you know, some fries if you want to to do that as well and then voila before Boom. you know it it's a feast yeah hey, you rock man i'm there gonna go. just dig in to taste this because I reckon, man. i've been looking at it and do wondering think, do you what think, does it would taste you mind like? if i go the messy route no yeah. go the messy route go the messy route i still have work to do uh so i'll taste like this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. flavor tick mm. all the way right <laughs> it's so good going to express a show not come for the recipe awesome